Hello, viewer, and welcome. He's back again. Except probably not for that long because the Atlantic only hired him to cover the Fox Dominion trial, which won't be happening now. Except Fox is probably going to be seeing another lawsuit from Smartmatic soon, so Brian's probably sticking around for a bit longer. Sometimes I still marvel that they allow me on television. And we're going to get right into that, but real quick, our government and our enemies are both trying to destroy the US dollar, so it's never been a better time to invest in gold and silver. The second and third largest bank runs in history happened last month. The government is taking steps to guarantee all deposits. That means more money printing. Thousands have approached Noble Gold Investments to secure their wealth with gold. Gold is the most stable asset outside of government control. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com to secure your wealth. Bag a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin if you qualify. Noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can find the link to that in the description or pinned comment. If you call, make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. And remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. I want to ask you about leaving CNN. Um, you recently, relatively recently, uh, left CNN. Um, and clearly they kind of pushed you out uh, as, yeah. they, as, they, as they announced they were... I've embraced the F word, Dan. <laughs> Fucked. Fired. You got fired. Oh, right. Fired. Fired. You got fired. Um, <laughs> why do you think you got fired? I don't know. Really? Um, you really don't know? I really, truly don't know. I know I had a, a popular show by CNN standards, and I know that it was pretty cheap to produce. But I also know every show gets canceled eventually. <laughs> yeah, by CNN standards, by which we mean very low standards. Not only was Stelter getting CNN in trouble by running his mouth on Twitter, but he made a fool of himself over and over. Not to mention just how goofy and plainly hypocritical Brian Stelter has always been. His job at CNN was a media critic, yet all he did was criticize his business and ideological competitors at Fox News. When we're not allowed to acknowledge that rioting is rioting and it is bad, and that silence is not violence, but violence is violence, the world has gone mad. I think he's talking to you. Say we're not allowed, we're not able. Who's the people stopping the conversation? Who are they? <laughs> as long as she doesn't say I'm the problem, then we're home free. <laughs> um, people let work at networks, <laughs> frankly, like the one I'm speaking on right now, who try and claim that... <laughs> are dismissing the attack or in the words of Carlson to say the committee is wholly illegitimate I'm saying it's important and because it is important it's being rejected by the MAGA media I think you yourself um, you know why well, you're a nice guy you know you're full of sanctimony um, you know you become part of one of the parts of the problem of the media can we dispense with the recession debate real quick are we in a recession and does the term matter <laughs> Stakes of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? Holy shit! Because of this, he was widely mocked. And not just by the giant corporate titans like Fox News, but by independent journalists and by independent creators like Mark Dice, who brutally and hilariously roasted Stelter with his famous Stelter voice, which I try and keep canon on this channel. Is it that we're treating Democrats and Republicans equally and ignoring GOP radicalism? Is it radicalism? Pull it together, Brian. If you can't pull this off, the big guy isn't going to be happy. And you know what happened last time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where 
my club will go. Yeah, it's not hard to see why Brian Stelter was fired, but if he's asked the question, his only response is that his only fault is that he cares too much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, share, subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.